we have the values of the user now we have to go ahead and create a, a, a days in a month test uh, sorry a, day, a days in a month object right so um, I save this in, in one location I save this class in one location right as long as I save this program also in the same location I can they'll be able to see each other and work with each other because as long as I save this lo in location over here um, well, 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 before that, before that, as long as I save it in the same location, they should be able to see each other and then we'll work with each other, right? But if I save it somewhere else, I have to refer to the location of where it's saved so we can see it. So what I'm going to do is here, here, we, now we have to go ahead and create a, a days in a month object, right? So I'm going to basically do that. Let's see. Well, um, normally I, I make this capital, but it's fine. I'll, I'll, just, I'll just leave this like that. Um, you know what? Let's see. I will. Uh, I'll go ahead and change this. I'll go to the location of, of this here, and then change it. Because normally I save it with capital. I just. I just like to do that. It's convention. Um, change the days in a month. The folder is just fine. Well, that mean that will mean. Okay. You know what? I will. Let's just re um save this as. I'm saving this as days in the mouth with, with a capital right but that will also mean that hold on that will also mean that I have to change this to a capital days in a month like this because the name of the class has to be the same as the name of the file so I'll save this as days in a month in that same location and I'm going to overwrite it hold on um, I think it's when I overwrite it it's still using the other one let me see it's using the small, I think it over, let's say. Yeah, it, it's it, it's overwrites on this one. So I will um, try something else. Let's, this is days in a month. Let's go ahead and change this. As days in a month this way and save it um, I say no no here I just want to see if it creates another version of it or no I guess it looks like it didn't um, <laughs> I'm going to just copy it copy the contents of this select or control a and copy the content control uh, sorry com command a and then copy the content command c just create a new um a new file paste it here and save this as days in a month dot well let me go ahead and, and delete the content of that folder so sorry about this i just want to save it with, with a capital letter so I'm going to delete all of this. I already have it copied, so <laughs> oops. Yeah, and save this as days in a month the Java in that same location. Alright, so I can get rid of this. So in that photo when I open it. Now I should have just this file. Good. And if I compile it, <laughs> hold on. Wow. So it replaced it because, hold on one second. Oh, the, oh the, this is a test, right? This is the test. Okay, if I compile this, now it wants to save the other one. It wants to save the, the main program. All right, okay, uh, it should be fine anyway. Well, well, we'll get to this. We'll get to this in a moment. All right, so we're done with this, right? We have the days in a month, the Java file saved in, save over here. So, so we're fine. Fine. Let, let's work on a test program. 
Yeah, sorry about all that. I just wanted to make sure that I save it with a crop dollar because it's convention. All right. So now days in a month test. I also want to save that save that as a crop dollar left us just to keep that with convention. I'll save the file this file the same name as the class. So now we have to like I said go ahead and create a days in a month object. So I'm going to try to I'm going to do that right. So I'm going to type in days in a month just the name of the class days in a month. And the name of the object, I'll, I'll, I'll just call it um, month. Um, I'll just call it period, p period one, because it's a, it's a, it's really a period, right? It's really, um, it's you can think it's really a year. It has a year and then the month, so it's really a period. Either February, February, to, um, February two thousand and ten, or you know, it's really a period. All right, so. I'm going to say days in a month period one. Now, when you when you type in this, right? It's this is very similar to trying to create or declare something like int um, number, right? This is the type, and this is the name of the variable. You can think of it the same way. This is the type, and this is the name of the variable. This is a type, all right? And and this is this is also a variable. The name of the variable, all right? But it's a um, this type is a is a class type um, class class type. So now let me explain. Now Java is going to realize that although you're trying to create some kind of a variable, it's going to realize that this days in a month is not one of the the, the primitive data types in Java. It's, it's not an int. It's not a double. It's it's not a uh, a, a character. Or so it's going to realize that and say that okay, you're trying to create a a, 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 um, a variable. Some kind of a variable, that, but this is not part of the uh, the primitive data type. So it's going to look in that same location where you save this file for a days in a month class. So, so that's what I, what I was saying. As long as you save it in the same location as a, the class, it should be able to find it. Okay, see, they should be able to see each other and then work with each other. So it's going to look in that same location. As long as we save this the same same place where we save the class, it, it should be fine. If you save it elsewhere, you have to now type in the path of where the class is. So, it, so they can see each other. So it's going to look in the same location. Know that there is a days in a month class, and then okay, and say that okay. Now I see what you're trying to do. Now you're trying to create a variable of type days in a month. You're trying to tr create a, a variable to hold a days in a month object. So that's what it's it's doing now. So that's what it's doing now. It's just reserved period one for for a days in a month object. Now let's go ahead and create the object in memory. So now we are creating a new days in a month um, ob object, right, in memory. And we, in the constructor of that object, we know that it's a, we know that it's it's accepting the month given and the year given. So in the month given over here, we don't we we want to use the we don't want to use our own values here. We want to use the users the users value. We have the user users user month here. So we can use it. We can use it here as you can pass it in here as an argument, and then over here we can pass in the user year also as an argument here. So now, by doing this, we are creating a new days in a month object in memory, initializing it with the user month and the user year, and then this equal sign is returning the memory location of this days in a month object to this days in a month um, class type variable. All right. So this is going to be a reference variable. A class type variable, or basically a variable that references references a days in a month object. You can you can call this an object too. When we say this is the object, you, we know that it's not the object itself, but it's a variable that's referencing the loca uh, referencing the object. It it only holds the location of it. But when we but when I'm when I when I'm saying it or when I'm talking, I'll probably say this is the object, right? But you know what I mean. It's holding the memory location of the object. Okay, I think I'm talking too much. All right, so. Now that we have the object, we can now call the methods in the object, we, or the method in the object. In this case, we have get number of days, and get number of days is going to use the value of the user month and, and the user year, and then tell us the number of the number of days in that month. So, I'm going to, because we were returning the number of days, so we weren't really printing it over here. We were returning the number of days. Let's use a system that out dot print ln statement to print out what is being returned when we call the get number of days method. So over here what we want to return or print 
what we want to print is the period is period one okay period ones get number of days All right just by calling period one to get number of days we are saying okay for this period of month of this particular month and year tell us based on the year if it's a leap year and if it's a leap year tell us based on the month how many days are in, the, in that month and we did all the calculation here right so if it's if it's in the case where the month is one right if the either types in one for month then tell us the number of days is is, uh, is, is 31 right so we can even add a string here just to make it look friendly user friendly here so we can say just like the display here number of days I think I have the question here so let's see so it should say see uh, 29 days right 29 days so let's just add us some kind of a string to it and say number of days get number of days concatenated to a string and say space days okay all right so now I'm going to go ahead and compile this and save it in the same location right oh I, I don't know why I, no, I, hmm. it still has this all right um, we'll, we'll figure this out in a second hold on so but let's see let's save the days in a month test in the same location as days in a month all right so let's save it here and we'll come back to this okay so it's complaining now because hold on a second it's complaining now because now remember we changed the name of the, the class to a capital letter and we see and the file was also a um we change it to a capital letter now it's complaining because the, the class itself is called days in a month with a capital letter and we are calling the con remember i said the, the, the name of the constructor has to be the same as the name of the class so because there are two cases one one is uppercase one is lowercase you know they, they, they don't consider it's not considered the same so all we have to do is change this to capital d just so it matches so when we compile this now we have a different oops <laughs> we have a different problem now the, i meant i th i thought i was using a geoption pane although i said i was going to use a scanner and that's why i said java x now the, the scanner class is in it's in the java.util and not the java x dot um well java x it's actually java x dot swing i meant to type in java dot util so the scanner class is in the java dot util package not java x dot util there's nothing like that even it's java it's java x dot swing so compile this and then now it works let's go back to the folder just to make sure that we have the right files in there okay we have the right file so I don't know what it was showing me <laughs> I think I saved it somewhere I don't know uh, maybe somewhere here all right days in a month okay we have they're, they're all capital letters so we're fine all right so we have our our class itself and then we have our test so we can go ahead and run it let's see what, what happens it's asking please enter the month I'm going to enter 2008 over here like it says oh sorry the month I'm going to enter two two over here for February and then enter a year I'm going to enter 2008 and hit enter and it says 29 days as expected but if I run this program again and I enter over here now let's test the conditions here it said over here for example 2008 is a leap year but to, but 2009 is not so when we enter 2008 we know that every leap year February has February for month sorry <laughs> I, I typed in the year first so for February we know that for every leap year every leap year February has 29 days right and it said over here that 2008 is a leap year but 2009 is not so February in 2009 we know th we know it's a leap year, uh, leap year sorry we know 2008 is a leap year so it should have 29 days but if in February for example we in February uh, 2009 because it said over here that, that, that 2009 is not a leap year in if it's not a leap year then February has 28 days when I hit enter we have 28 days so we can see it's working 29 28 days apart from that every other every other every other uh, month if you say okay tell me how many months um, are in let's say um, December okay 12 December 
in the year of doesn't even matter i mean the same thing in the year of let's say 2005 how many days were in, were in february were in december sorry december and it says 31 days that's true um you know 31 days december 31st so so it's working the main thing i was actually for february to just how to figure it and it's the question was actually good enough so it, it told us how to figure out a leap year and all we had to do was use what our understanding of the concepts to basically create that algorithm or that logic to figure out a leap year all right so uh, thank you very much for watching the video it was a bit rough but hey um we, we we've we've solved the question and that that's all that matters um if you have any questions please comment down below and i'll do everything to respond to them um, thank you very much for watching. Take care of yourselves. And I just I just started a new um, Learn Java um, series. It's just uh, it's a playlist or basically another. It's a course on its own to teach Java the concept of Java. So if you don't understand the concept of Java, uh, th this these program challenges were just to go straight to the question and solve them without without necessarily explaining them to into detail. Although I mentioned or tried to explain them bit a bit. But this Learn Java course or um, s videos or series that I just started is going to basically go into the concepts, focused con um, uh, concept, you know, one after the other, and explain the details of how it all works. Just so, so if you're not really clear on the concepts, let's you can watch those if you have time and if you like. All right. So again, thanks. Thanks. Comment if you have questions. I'll, I'll do everything to respond to them. Take care of yourselves, and I'll see you next time with the next program. All right. Bye bye.